China has just quietly flipped on crypto. Nigeria, the country with the highest rate of Bitcoin in adoption after India has suddenly lifted their restrictions on banks handling crypto transactions. In today's video, we will be covering the big news coming into the brand new year for Bitcoin. And I'm giving you my personal price targets on Bitcoin. And I think you're going to like what I got. I've been absolutely loading the boat on Bitcoin. And we'll continue to add more to my position at where it's trading at right now. So you're going to want to see this video. Watch it all the way through. Without further ado, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Join the family on this journey to financial freedom. Hit the like button. It's free. It helps me out. Let's get into it. So big news for Bitcoin. Forget about the spot Bitcoin ETF. A huge unexpected bank flip could be about to hit the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Solana, and crypto. So yes, this whole Bitcoin move, the market's going to move as well, as well as plenty of other cryptocurrencies. One trillion dollars in a huge 2024 Biden bailout is predicted to crash the US dollar and trigger Bitcoin and crypto price boom. Now this is something that I wanted to get into. And before we get into the US dollar, I wanted to take a look at the overall market. If you come back here to December of 2020, this is where the SPY was trading at after getting a push up from this COVID dump coming all the way up to here. Looking very similar to what we're trading at right now, non-stop ripping for seven consecutive weeks, slightly chop trading, getting held up, waiting for another push into the brand new year. And that's exactly where I think the overall market is right now. Not only that, but short sellers are down over $178 billion, shorting several different sectors of the market and probably shorting Bitcoin as well. Now we come back and we take a look at December of 2024, the DXY, which is the US dollar index. You will see that the US dollar has fallen since April of that same exact year and has been following for three years since January of 2017. But honestly, since inception, if I went back on this chart, you will see that the dollar has been continuously falling and crumbling. In fact, the dollar, I believe, has lost about 97% of its value. Why am I bringing this up? Why is this so important? Bitcoin is the hedge against currency, is the hedge against central bank currency, a government currency where the government holds control over you, control over the supply, the supply is not capped, and Bitcoin is something different. Now, this is something we've been tracking in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. When I zoom out, you will see the white boxes I have drawn out starting a bull cycle on Bitcoin. You saw this double top on Bitcoin getting held up between 16 and 20K before breaking higher back in 2020. We're looking at December of 2020, the same exact time frame that we looked at for the US dollar as well as the overall market. Dollar down, market up. You're seeing the same exact thing happening right now. Market up, dollar coming down, about to break below this wedge. And in my opinion, come all the way down to 94 by October of next year. Dollar coming down the whole year, Bitcoin likely to go up. Now, this is the cycle you just saw back here that I showed you. And this is the arrow pointing to the double top where we got held up. And that is exactly where I think Bitcoin is trading at right now, getting held up between 40 and 44, just like 16 and 20 getting this double top and about to break a little bit higher. Now, what's interesting here is from this second double top to this first initial peak in January of 2021, you saw a specific amount of days and a specific percentage gain. That percentage gain being around 116%, give or take. From this same peak to the 1618 on the FIB level, that is about 116% gain or 118% give or take which late January the very start of February is giving me my price target on Bitcoin of 94,000 this is extremely bullish this is my opinion on Bitcoin I expect to get an absolute insane candle like this which is exactly what everyone is expecting one second after the Bitcoin ETF is approved in fact you may see it sooner because institutions will know before the public that is expected to be approved on January 9th. 94,000 beginning of February for Bitcoin. That second peak after this cycle, the very top of Bitcoin in April, has a set time frame from the double top as well as a set percentage gain. And that set percentage gain and time frame for the same exact cycle would bring us to the 2618 FIB at 141,000. And that is my outlook for Bitcoin to hit at some point in April. These are my price targets for Bitcoin. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you think this is possible. Not only are the ETFs being approved, major catalyst for Bitcoin, but wait until Bitcoin miners report fourth quarter earnings, Mara and Riot. The market will learn about 
BRC20 and inscriptions. Miners are printing little to no having sell pressure, decreased circulating supply of Bitcoin, price goes up. Now this is widely considered to be the most important event in crypto. You're not going to see it for at least another four years. The Bitcoin halving. This is where Bitcoin mining rewards are cut in half to reduce the number of new coins entering the network. So not like the Federal Reserve where they print money whenever they want. Bitcoin has a capped supply and once it gets halved, it's harder to get your hands on more Bitcoin. Stocks like Mara and Riot are basically producing Bitcoin out of thin air, pulling it straight from the blockchain. Now, moving on. Founding partner of Oido Labs, co-founder of Addy and KnockKnock.com, and chairman of Terra Mera, Cubic Farms, and Lamazoo, as well as advising numerous other companies and co-founding Build Direct. This is an important man. What is he telling us about Bitcoin? And before we move on, guys, just a quick break to tell you guys to get in the Discord. The link is in the top of the description as well as pinned in the top of comments for you guys. Press the link, watch the trailer, it's 30 seconds long, and then I'm sure you'll want to join. It's a coffee a month, cheapest Discord on YouTube. I'm in there on the daily. I also post my trades as soon as I take them, and we talk stocks with the most amazing people as well as crypto. Best community, best vibes. Whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, this is the place to go. Start your new year, guys. This is a new you. It's four dollars sacrifice a coffee up your level this year also if you want up to 15 free stocks and 5.1 percent apy on your uninvested cash use my link sign up for moomoo and make a deposit just like you would weeble or Robinhood. you will start earning benefits as soon as you sign up and make a deposit of any amount it can literally be a penny both of those links are in the top of the description and pinned in the top of comments now this man explains why fiat money steals from the people and how bitcoin gives it back this is a two minute and 30 second clip and before i roll this to close out the video i wanted to show you that bitcoin will eventually surpass its all-time high according to a man that served as the white house director of communications worked at goldman sachs investment banking equities and private wealth management divisions and more two people great track records both bullish on bitcoin that is what I got for you guys for today's video. I'm going to roll this clip for you. Like the video on the way out. Get in the Discord. I love you all. Lottery stocks out. So all over the world, if you measure in Bitcoin, prices are falling to the marginal cost of production. The only difference is what... So all over the world, if you're pricing in whatever fiat instrument, prices are rising. Um, so essentially, Bitcoin is telling you the truth in what's happening in the world. And it doesn't matter... If, if the debt gets destroyed or hyperinflated away, Bitcoin just being an honest ledger is imposing that discipline. And you can measure what should be happening in a free market. In other words, prices following the marginal cost of production is happening in Bitcoin. So now Bukele entering into Bitcoin, his, his bonds are getting upgraded twice while US bonds are getting downgraded. Um, that, that system, is and it started it starts really small in networks so you have a global network effect um anybody on bitcoin in, a minute, in other words any person on the planet that knows right now could say i'm going to move out of a system that is going to constantly steal my wages into a system that doesn't and because it's an open monetary network open decentralized system anybody on the planet can do that and what's happening is as people are starting to see that, they're moving and then in, and they're starting to cluster in regions. And as those clustering and as they're trading within this on the circular economy on that, it's expanding and it's, and it's expanding all over the world in different regions, some faster than others. And Bitcoin Beach, which was a small experiment, but then when, when this corner store gets on another person, another person, and all of a sudden, other people want to see what's happening there, and more people go to El Salvador to see what's happening there. And then it moves into the, the president saying, wait, we can give economic freedom to our, to our country and step out of this punishing system by, by adopting Bitcoin. Then the president sees it and, and, and adopts it. And then more people start to see it. Then other countries start to say, wait, what are we doing in this? repressive system. We're going to do it. But the point is, and then BlackRock does it, but it doesn't matter who, every single individual on this planet, if they know, can front run the entire, everyone else. It's, and that system is for all of us instead of for a small few of us. ...of a Bitcoin ETF, we get it, ever, turbocharge, Bitcoin, and other crypto, maybe like Solana in the new year. Let's bring in Anthony Scaramucci on this. The founder of Skybridge Capital noted 
crypto investor as well. How shot if I had to have with everything else that has gone on with crypto, OK, with all the problems, this Bankman freed character, a bunch of other things. And someone said, but Bitcoin's going to go up 160 percent. I would have said, what is in your eggnog? Because I want some. Yeah, I, listen, I mean, it's very hard to understand why it went up that rapidly for the persons that are not studying Bitcoin. But if you step back and look at the 14 years of Bitcoin or now almost 15, uh, it is easier to understand for those people. And I've been in Bitcoin since 2020. And so, yes, I see why that happened. And probably since you mentioned Sam and some of the other nefarious actors, they probably pushed it down too far at the end of last year, Brian. Yeah, because I do also want to remind our viewers that may not be crypto investors or follow it every day. Bitcoin was at 60,000. So we've had a hell of a run this year. It's been great, but we're still well off our highs. Do you think next year or, or if we get if we ever get a Bitcoin ETF, that high can be breached? So I've been embarrassed by my predictions in the past. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought it would have gotten to 100,000 by the end of uh, 2022. Uh, you, if you recall, in November of 2021, we got the Bitcoin futures ETF, Brian. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that that was going to come. I filed, uh, Skybridge filed, not me, but the firm filed for a cash Bitcoin ETF. It was rejected alongside of Fidelity and many other players. Uh, uh, we'd elected not to do that now because of the competition. So uh, a lot of this stuff got dragged out because of the regulation. But if you're asking the question, will Bitcoin get through its all-time high, I believe it will. I don't know when. There could be some selling pressure, you know, sort of that whole buy on the rumor, sell on the news in the beginning part of the quarter. But if you're asking by year end, hopefully you'll invite me back. I think we'll be through the all-time high. Uh, but I've been embarrassed by my predictions before, so I'm a little hesitant now, a little gun-shy, a little humbled. Well, listen, you and everybody else, I mean, we, you heard the top of the show probably that, uh, Anthony, that uh, pretty much every big name on Wall Street whiffed on the year for stocks. Do you just invest in Bitcoin? Because we're seeing a lot of enthusiasm around, uh, still, again, altcoins are back. We talked about Solana. It's up 400 percent. You've got Ethereum. You've got some of these other coins that are really getting oh. hot. Makes me a little nervous, right? Because a lot of momentum, probably a lot of retail money here. Do you invest in any of these altcoins? Yeah, well, I, you know, I'm still doing, when we met back in 2009, I'm still doing the same thing. We have a broad hedge fund, fund of funds portfolio that's up about 25 percent this year. Our, our Bitcoin exposure obviously up 160. We have a ETF called Crypt, C-R-P-T, which is up over 200 percent. So about a third of our business is in cryptocurrency. But you mentioned some of the names that we own. We do have exposure to things like Solana, Ethereum. Uh, we own something called Vulcan Forge, which is a very small uh, video gaming company. Uh, but Algorand mm -hmm. is another name that we own a lot of. And so so we do have some of the what we would call the altcoins. Uh, but the big kahuna in the room is Bitcoin. Uh, I have something called Casper Laboratories. I mean, those are just some of the names that we have. But you're, I think you're asking a broader point. Do we invest outside of Bitcoin into other Web3 tokens? And the answer is yes. But the preponderance of our money is in Bitcoin. You know, we're you know, we, we got there in 2020, so we're one of the first institutions to get there, but we're still institutionalists, so we sort of stuck with the quality of Ethereum and Bitcoin, Bitcoin yeah. being number one.